Take your CJ7 all the way to 11. Jeepers with Cool Guy. On today's episode of Jeepers with Cool Guy, we're going to do probably the fastest video that I've done yet. Doesn't mean it's going to be the fastest one ever, but it'll be quick. One of the things that is a complication with the CJ7, CJ5s, basically any Jeep pre Chrysler, is grounding issues. And while you're assembling, putting all of your stuff back together, you want to make sure that you get everything grounded from the get go. And what I'm going to talk about in this episode is your grounding strap. It is this strap that's right here, and it bolts to or it connects to the frame through one of the engine mount bolts uh, with a, one of those spur washers so that it gets good electrical contact. And then it connects to one of the engine mount bolts and then that connects to the engine. So you wanna ground everything through the engine, through the battery and everything else. But the, the only way really to make sure that you've got the frame grounded to the engine, which will eventually be grounded to the, the battery, and like your tail lights and all that other stuff in the body itself is through this ground strap. The ground wire that I got is an eight inch braided copper with a tin coating on it to prevent oxidation and corrosion. It's, you can't really go much shorter than eight because you have to be able to reach between the frame, uh, one of the, uh, the engine mount bolts that connects to the frame and this upper bracket that connects directly to the engine mount. So once you get that in there and you get everything fastened down, then you want to get a voltmeter, voltometer or whatever, volt voltometer, yes. Want to test out to make sure that we've got grounds between the frame and the engine block. So here we have our handy dandy voltometer with a continuity uh, signal on it, which basically means that if you have a connection, it gives you a little bit of a chime. So you're definitely going to want to have one that has that capability. So it doesn't really make a difference if you take the black or the red. All you want to do is just start connecting bolts that are connected to the frame and make sure that, and then find a connection point somewhere on the engine block. So I'm going to use the inside of this hole. Okay, got connection there, so that's good. So basically that means that the connection between the frame and the engine block is consistent. So I'm just going to test different bolts just to make sure that I've got connectivity. I'm going to go all the way up on the manifold. Got manifold. I'm going to try the frame bolt to the manifold. That's all connected. So that means that I've got everything grounded. So that's how you've grounded your engine frame uh, so that you don't have any of those electrical gremlins that relate to things like uh, your rear brake lights or anything else that has to be connected or grounded through the frame and it ultimately grounds the engine. Okay, you may be asking, why is it important to have the, uh, the frame grounded when I can just run an electrical wire? Well, that could be a way of doing it, but um, one of the things that you definitely need to make sure that you have grounded is your wire harness for your fuel sender is grounded to the frame. If you don't have the frame grounded, uh, connected to the engine block, which is connected to the, uh, the battery, connected to the knee bone, connected to the thigh bone, your fuel sender unit won't operate. So that's just one example of why it's important to ground your frame to your engine, to your battery. So that concludes this brief episode of Jeep with Cool Guy. Hope you learned a lot. I know I did. Public service announcement. Subscribe. Like and subscribe or dislike. Any one of the two helps me out, helps the Jeepin community out, helps the CJ7 community out.